My family, UK tabloids, don't want peace between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the senior members of the royal family like Charles, William, Kate and Camilla. They want tensions. They want drama to be there. And they want to be the ones who also are behind those tensions. My family. Similarly, senior members of the royal family like Charles and William and Kate and Camilla also don't want peace between themselves and also Prince Harry and Meghan. By now, that should be crystal clear. This attacks by the UK media on an innocent baby over a name. It tells your story. It tells you that UK media clearly have no interest in any peace between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the senior members of the royal family. Because my family, as I've always said, if anyone has a problem with me, let's say I'm Prince Harry, then let's handle our issues together. Let's deal with our issues together. But when you go after my child, or my daughter, or my son, you are crossing a red line. In my family, that is what UK media have done. That's what senior members of the royal family who are approving their staff to spread these lies about Lilibet just to deflect from Prince Andrew, just to deflect from any scandals in the royal family, any dirt that UK media have on the royal family. What they are doing is wrong. And this low blow tax only achieve one thing. They continue to inflame tensions between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the senior members of the royal family. Because my family, Harry as a father, he is not going to like seeing his daughter being bullied over a name. And the thing is, UK media know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They'll tell you they have other reasons as to why they're doing what they're doing. But they know exactly what they're doing. And what they're doing is they're attacking a baby over a name. And my family, I want you to hear that straight from their own, my family, mouths. They know exactly what they're doing. They'll deny it, but they'll tell you exactly what they are doing. And what they're doing is wrong, it's evil, it's cruel, and it is racist towards Harry and Meghan's daughter, my family, Lily Bet Diana. My family, please kindly hear this. Hear them deny, but then tell you, remind you of exactly how this optics, how it looks like, my family. How it looks like. They know exactly how it looks like, and they are trying to deny what they are doing to a child. For my family, they know exactly what they're doing. My family, please kindly hear this. I'm not saying please. they don't love the name Lily Pat. What do you say to the but... people that say that's just unfair? We're, we're picking at Harry and Meghan and that's not right. Well, I think I think a lot of people say, you know, don't take this out on a little girl who, who's innocent. But it's not about that. And, and that's what Meghan and Harry will be saying over there. My family, that is the editor at large writing columns for The Daily Mail. At The Daily Mail. And she says what Harry and Meghan will be thinking is that they're picking on their daughter. It is not just what Harry and Meghan are thinking. It's what we all are seeing. It's what you are doing. And you're confirming because you know exactly how this looks. Bullying a baby over a name is the lowest of lows. If you have any problems with Harry because Harry is suing you, then... Handle your issues with Harry. But to go after his daughter, his child, his child, his daughter, Lilibet, to go after his son, to go after his wife, that is the lowest of lows that anyone can go to. And sadly, UK media have chosen to stoop so low. The firm, meaning Charles and William, have chosen to stoop so low in their war against Harry Meghan. My family, this time, 
the war is against a child. Because someone at the palace did not like Harry and Meghan naming their daughter the Queen's my family nickname. Someone at the palace did not like it. And they are saying it's the Queen who did not like it. My family. They're even attributing my family quotes or my family what you know the queen my family has said about my family you know little bit my family I want to say exactly my family you know apparently what they're saying the queen said about my family little bit Diana. I want to get the exact quote my family apparently according to what my family is being said by a source at the palace my family at Buckingham Palace meaning Charles my family the Queen said apparently and I quote I don't own the palaces I don't own the paintings the only thing I own is my name and now they have taken that. My family, that is the first account of the Queen's reaction to Harry Meghan calling or naming their daughter Lily Diana. My family, there are thousands of Lilibets in this world. It wasn't just the Queen. It was never just her who was called Lilibet. My family, it was never just her. There are thousands of little bits all over the world. And my family, apparently, if you want to call your daughter little bit, you have to check in with the palace if it's okay. Because apparently, you'll be hurting the queen's feelings because she owns the copyright to the name. So you have to call the palace and ask, is it okay if I call my daughter little bit? Because apparently, according to them, it is only the queen has every right in the world to use that name. My family, that is wrong. That is wrong. My name is Brian. And there are thousands of brands, hundreds of thousands of brands across the world. And there'll be more brands in this world. My family, I don't own corporate over this name. I don't. I don't own corporate over this name. My family, and that is a fact. So any insinuations that somehow this name was owned by the Queen, my family, it is frankly wrong. It is so, so wrong. It is so, so wrong to see my family what, you know, the media are doing. And they are trying to portray that this action of Harry Meghan coming from a good place, to name the daughter a little bit, somehow my family, you know, caused the Queen anguish pain during her final years and they do that to stroke the anger and hate towards Harry and Meghan, my family. What they're doing is encouraging people to be angry at Harry and Meghan based on this rhetoric coming from the palace and the UK media. This entire hate campaign, this entire smear campaign against Harry and Meghan has been fully approved by the royal family and the UK public press. And Prince Harry said this. I'm okay with you writing nonsense about me because I know it is not true. However, I draw the line at you irritating hatred against my wife and my children to the point that someone wants to cause harm to us based on what you are feeding them. My family, this is the perfect example of what Harry was talking about. My family. And that's why I say this. Just as Harry said, you know, if you have a problem with him, then guess what? Deal with him. You know, take it up with him. But to go after his daughter, to go after his wife, to go after his son, Archie, is so, so low. It's a low blow. It's so, so low. 
And my family, it is so sad to see how the farm, meaning Charles really, and William have decided to stoop so low by targeting Harry and Meghan's daughter. But thing is, my family, I have always said this about this stuff. This is the life the tabloid media envision for Lilibet. This is the life the fab envision for Archie, for Lilibet, if they were ever to be brought up in the raw fold. The life of a scapegoat. This is exactly what I am talking about. This is what my family I have I have known in my mind would be done to Archie and Lily Petana. And even if they don't live in the UK, they live in the US, they are still doing it. Using Archie and Lily Petana to deflect from the ongoing scandals the royal family are facing. For example, just earlier this year, my family, in January, a high court, my family, a court judge in the US, you know, decreed or issued my family a ruling that, you know, those names that have been mentioned in the family, that have been mentioned really by victims of Jeffrey Epstein, and also were my family on uh, the list of Jeffrey Epstein's list of associates were to be released. And my family, the name named was Prince Andrew. And it triggered a huge scandal. And then my family, like a week later, or two weeks later, you see a story about Harry and Meghan's daughter, Lady Petana. You see a baby being pulled over a name. And even the people who are doing it, targeting a child, are saying, you know, Harry and Meghan would view this as an attack on their daughter. But you know what? It isn't that. That isn't the case. It is the case. It is the case. Even by the fact that you came up with that suggestion, that Harry and Meghan would view this as an attack with the child, you know exactly what it is. You know what you're doing and you know what you've done. And you fully approve of what you've done, of what you're doing. And it is so wrong and so, so low to target a baby just to get to Prince Harry and Meghan. Just to, you know, retaliate because Harry is suing you also. And because my family, you have a vendetta Against Harry Meghan to destroy them because you have to destroy them. You know, because you can't stand that they chose to be independent. You can't stand that they, they, they fled the UK to escape your abuse and you have to continue, continue the abuse. And you wonder why Prince Harry needs security. You know, my family, the level of hypocrisy from the farm and the UK media is too much. And every single time they do this, target Harry Meghan's daughter, son, Megan, they remind Prince Harry and Megan of why they fled the UK. Now, my family basically, you know, a carnival or so called expert called Afua Hagan, my family, who's paid to pretend that she's on Harry and Megan's side, my family, and normally is seen on talk TV or G Good Morning Britain, my family. As someone who's portrayed to be in Harry Meghan's, you know, corner or supporting Harry Meghan, and clearly she isn't. My family has said that Prince Harry's rift with the royal family may be inflamed by mean comments by a palace staffer. A royal commentator called Afua Hagen has said. Harry Meghan named their child Lilibet, in tribute to Queen Elizabeth II's childhood nickname. But the announcement in June 2021 sparked a transatlantic briefing war over whether they got the monarch's permission. My family, a war is normally waged by my family one side, and then it becomes a war between my family, you know, to countries or, or to sides or to factions. My family, in this case, Harry Meghan, back in 2021, my family, Harry Meghan, back in the year 2021, called their daughter Lily And after that, the palace briefed the media, the BBC in particular, 
saying that, you know, Harry had asked permission from the Queen to name his daughter Lily Petana. And it triggered a storm whereby every media was attacking Harry and Meghan over naming their daughter Lily Petana and also attacking their daughter over it. To the point that Harry called him the lawyers and my family, it stopped. The attacks stopped towards Lilibet, towards Harry, towards Meghan. Only after Harry quoted the lawyers did BBC and other tabloids stop the attacks on Harry, Meghan and their daughter. Only after Harry and Meghan quoted the lawyers. And they said that they, had, they would never call their daughter Lilibetana if they had not asked the Queen to call their daughter Lilibet, my family. And I firmly believe and trust in Harry and Meghan. In fact, even, even if they never called the Queen my family, then guess what? Harry and Meghan will still be entitled to call their daughter Lipitana because my family, no one owns that name. And anyone who tells you that the Queen owned that name, my family is a liar. Is a liar and they're lying to you. And they're trying to use everything in their pouch just to try and, you know, attack Harry and Meghan to protect Prince Andrew. And the other senior members of the family embroiled in scandals that you can media know about. My family, that is what they're doing. And what they're doing, my family, is so, so wrong. What they're doing, my family, is so wrong. It's the palace who went after Lady Petana. It's the palace that has been going after Harry and Meghan. And they can't stand that Harry and Meghan respond to the attacks. Have the power to respond. Have the power to tell their own side of the story. And a willing audience, ready listen my family the farm can't stand it and all these books that my family are written uk media if they had any kind of self-respect they themselves would demand that you know what nobody write a book about prince harry megan talking about harry megan if they had any self-respect otherwise if harry and megan come out to share their side of the story then my family i don't want to see any carnival of so called expert whinging, mourning, or complaining about Harry and Meghan saying anything because right now they aren't complaining about the lies written and told by Robert Hartman. You know, lies fed to Robert Hartman by senior palace staff, by members of the royal family. You know, my family. So basically, Prince Harry has gone on record previously to say that, you know, his decision to tell his side of the story in part was a response to the endless leaks from the palace raising the prospect that my family, what's happening right now, just confirms what Harry has been saying. It confirms Harry's words. My family, the palace staff have been briefing and leaking against him, my family. And they do that with the full approval of senior members of the royal family, meaning Charles and William, who are behind this, my family, who are behind this and fully approve of this. But then they're angry whenever they hear that Harry wants to tell his side of the story of what happened. My family, the blatant level of hypocrisy is just too much, you know? And these attacks on a little bit raises my family to prospect that this latest disclosures and attacks could put a fresh dent in any hope of reconciliation. My family, <laughs> you target someone's child, you target someone's daughter, and then you speak about reconciliation. You speak about peace. What peace? What peace? What peace? I think by now, as I've always said, UK media should stop this stuff about peace talks, about reconciliation. If they're going to target Harry Megan's daughter, then they should stop talking about reconciliation or peace talks. My family, it's, hypocr it's, it's hypocrisy whenever I see this stuff, my family. You know, you are attacking his daughter and then you're like, you know, these disclosures could put a dent on any hope of Reconciliation. Oh, please keep quiet, keep quiet and stop it. 
You know? You have no interest in peace between Harry, Meghan, and the rest of the royal family. You don't care about peace. You know? What you are interested in is stocking up tensions. That's what UK media are interested in. Not peace. You know? As Harry even said, the business model of UK media depended or relied on members of the royal family being in a constant conflict against each other. Being at odds with each other. My family, we are seeing that happening in real time. My family, and the palace is behind this. The palace, meaning Charles William, have no interest in reconciling with Harry or Meghan. They only have an interest in destroying the lives of Harry and Meghan. And then, my family, what they're hoping for is to succeed in destroying their lives and family. And that if they succeed, then they swoop in and try to pick about the pieces that are left. You know, my family, that's what the farm want to do. And that's why you hear, oh, we want Harry back, not Megan. After they've destroyed him, after they have destroyed his marriage, that's when they want Harry back. My family, after they target his child, then they're like, you know, let's talk about reconciliation. Stop it. You have no interest in any kind of, you know, re conciliation or peace talks what Turkey media are interested, interested in is inflaming tensions in causing rifts between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the senior members of the family my family and even that is what Charles and William like seeing Harry and Meghan being painted as the villains my family but really this entire story the only one who is coming out my family as someone who is dishonest as someone who is not a good person, my family clearly are my family. You know, the UK media. Clearly are my family. The palace clearly is the queen. They are dragging the queen's name through the mud. You know, that is what the palace is doing in their war against Harry Meghan. My family it is so wrong. And Afua Hagan Say this, and I quote, this is definitely going to stoke up tensions, my family. And don't forget who's behind this. The palace is behind this. Remember, Harry and Meghan, I didn't think anything about the royal family. But yet, these people back in the UK can't stop whinging about Harry, about Meghan. And now they're targeting his daughter, Harry's child. A red line is being crossed by the UK media. And they're happy and willing to cross that red line because they know, my family, they have no interest in any kind of peace with Harry Meghan. Because they know that senior members of the royal family just want to see Harry and Meghan destroyed. And my family, in the process of doing my family what they're doing, this, you know, ongoing smear campaign against, against Harry and Meghan, they're dragging the queen's name through the mud. And also, they have painted the queen in a negative light. In a way, the public hasn't seen the queen before. And my family, shame on them. Shame on the farm, shame on the okay media who claimed that they cared so much about the queen. Clearly, they never ever cared about the queen. Never. And my family, Afua Hagan also said this, that we've had the discussion about Lilibet's name. When she, is, when she was born. And to rake over those calls is a bit mean. And it is definitely, and it is definitely, definitely going to stoke up those tensions. My family, they know what they're doing is mean. And my family, I am reminded of what we learned in Harry's court case. My family, what someone said, testifying in Harry's court case against the mirror. Cruelty is the point. Cruelty is the point of, you know, what you can do, what they do. What the farm does, what it does. Cruelty is the point. They want to be, you know, so cruel. You know, cruelty is the point. That is what we learned in court. Whereby my family, someone was describing 
what happened to Harry's mother, Diana. Whereby she left her therapist place and she was okay. She was all right. My family. And then when she left her therapist place, place she was swarmed by photographers who harassed her. My family. And then she began crying. And then Piers Morgan, who was the editor of the mirror at the time family, said the public must never ever know what happened here. My family, that is what he allegedly said. The public must never find out why, why she was really crying here. And they say she was crying because of her divorce from Charles. When that wasn't the case. She was crying because she was being harassed by the likes of Piers Morgan. My family. You know? She was crying because of that. Because of how cruel they were to her. Cruelty. Cruelty. And my family, the person who was recounting what happened, what was done to her mother, said this. Cruelty is the point. They want to be as much cruel as possible. My family. And no wonder they're targeting a child. And even these so-called road experts are admitting themselves it's mean what they're doing. It is mean what they're doing. But they're doing it anyway. Clearly, with the full approval of King Charles. This is the king's granddaughter here being bullied publicly. My family, you know, and I don't know why, but every time I say this, I just keep on thinking about Harry's, you know, what Omis Kobe said, Harry said, after he was evicted from former cottage to Charles. Don't you ever want to see your grandkids anymore? My family. You know, I hope that Harry realizes this guy Charles doesn't care about Archie or Lilibet. You know, I feel like Harry is the one who somehow has some hope that maybe his father will open his eyes or maybe just wake up or something. But my family, this person keeps on showing his cruelty towards Harry Meghan's daughter Lilibet Anna, towards Archie. You know, and my family, they've done nothing wrong. They've done nothing wrong. But because the race, they've been targeted. Racism. Racism is evil, and it's so cruel to see what is being done to Harry and Meghan's daughter, Lily Bert Diana, my family. It's so cruel, you know? And Afua Hagan, my family, says this also, that this stuff just reignites all the people who say that Harry and Meghan were wrong about everything, that everything they say is untrue. It is just going to talk up all those tensions. It's going to fuel that fire. Most definitely. My family, the thing is, you can't even see the face of the person who was saying that the Queen wasn't happy about Harry and Meghan naming their child a little bit. Just a nameless and a faceless palace source. You can't even see the face of this person. You know, and I've, my family said this. Who do you choose to trust? Someone who shows his face and says something or someone who hides behind palace sources. My family, I know who I'll trust. I know who I'll trust. I know exactly who I'll trust. Someone who I can see whenever he speaks or says something. You know? And Harry has told us the truth. Whenever he speaks, we know it's him. When the palace speaks, they use sources, nameless and faceless sources. And my family, we know clearly, once again, they're lying about little bit Dana. Just to see her getting trolled. Just to hit her and make her white hearts by targeting their daughter, their lovely daughter. You know, the palace has no interest in healing or mending the rift. They just love seeing Harry and Meghan be painted as the villains. Just as Harry said, my family. You know? And Afua Hagan says that it's a bit mean. A bit mean, really, because she's only little and it is the baby's name. At the time, and I feel it now. It is quite sweet to name someone after their grandmother. I am 100% sure Harry and Meghan didn't want to cause offense with it. They thought it was a sweet gesture. Whether or not the Queen actually felt that way, we don't know because she is not here with us anymore. And so we'll never go on record saying one thing or the other. This is all I was talking those tensions, igniting those discussions, fueling those fires, and putting more divisions between Prince Harry and the rest of his family and 
unfortunately. Says Afua Hagen. My family, don't be fooled by Afua Hagen. <laughs> Let me my family just say, say this to you. My family, she wakes up in the morning. Today she's against her. Today she's against her Megan. And tomorrow she pretends on TV that she's someone who is on Harry and Meghan's side, my family, when clearly she's not. So my family, these tensions will remain between Harry and Charles and William and Kate and Camilla. My family. And as I've always told you, the only time I can ever see Charles healing or mending his little Harry, calling Harry on the phone, is if he sees that the farm and the media have successfully destroyed Prince Harry's marriage, have successfully destroyed Prince Harry. That's the only time my family, he'll pick up his phone and actually, you know, my family want to heal any rift with Harry. Pretend that he wants to heal my family, his rift with Prince Harry, because clearly, you know, by destroying your son, really, honestly, I don't think that you can even say or claim you'll want to heal my family the rift. But clearly, it's about bringing Harry back into that box, that raw box, my family, whereby he's, be, he's been controlled, whereby the farm have access to him, whereby the farm sends a message that when you leave the raw family, you can't succeed, you'll be destroyed. That is why they want Harry back in the gilded my family cage, that you can't escape and be free forever. That's the message the farm wants to send to Prince Harry and any other member of the royal family. My family, may Harry make it keep on thriving. And may Harry and Meghan never ever be at the mercy of either Charles, William, Kate, Camilla or anything. And also, may Lilibet and Archie also never be at the mercy of William, Kate, Charles, Camilla or even William's kids, may they never be at their mercy because my family, they will not treat them well. They will not treat them kindly. Why? Because of their race. Because of my family, you know, the fact that the farm is indeed a racist institution my family. My family, you know, the party clearly wants, you know, this to be the thing that people are talking about my family. The defense from Prince Andrew. And, uh, but to target a child, truly they wanted to be as mean as they possibly could and to hit her and make her hurts. In my family, Harry, please release that book. Release that book, that second, you know, you say that there was a draft of like 800 pages. Release that other part that you don't want to release. Release that other part because these people, they are interested in peace with you, it's with you, Harry. They are only interested in destroying you. Don't let them hurry. Don't let them make them. Don't let them destroy you. Don't let them. Don't allow it to happen. Don't allow it to happen. Harry, don't let them destroy you. Don't let them destroy your own family, Harry. Don't allow it. It's so sad that these people know that what they're doing is mean. But they're still targeting a baby anyway. Even though they know it's mean. Even though they know how it looks. Still, my family, they target a child. It's so cruel, evil, and so mean. And my family, evil never wins. Hate never wins. And my family, with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Libidana and Doria Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Hate never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video, my family. Love you all the forever. And may God bless you, all my family. May God bless each and every single one of you, my family. My family, stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever and may God bless you, all my family. Let's keep continuing with this ongoing hate campaign against Harry and Meghan's baby girl and also against Harry and Meghan. And my family, let's keep demanding that it stops. Let's keep demanding that Charles William stop the hate campaign against Harry and Meghan. My family, we demand it stops. And they need to stop using Harry and Meghan as scapegoats to protect Prince Andrew. The family they need to. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever and may God bless you, all my family. Love you also forever. 
and uh, we condemn this, you know, smear campaign against Harry Meghan and their daughter Libertana. We condemn seeing a child being bullied by the community over a name. We condemn it fully in the strongest terms possible. Stay tuned for our next video. Love you also forever and may God bless you all. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned for our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.